Good morning, everyone. This is Shelby with Shelby Creations. Welcome to the Dragon's Den. Um, what we're going to do today, we're going to take a box. And this is quite thicker than what I would normally use. And turn it into a journal cover. So what I'm going to show you is how to cut this down to a size that you would you, know, you would use. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up completely. And from here I'm just I'm going to get rid of I want to open it up. So because I'll come back and I'll trim everything down. I know I I'm not going to use the top or the bottom, but I have to make it to where I can get it onto my little mat down here. And yes, there's a place here where it was put together. And if you can, if it tears off easily, we can just do that. So start with this side first. I'll trim that off there, just like that. So I have a straight edge here, pretty much. And if it's not completely straight, you know, if it's got little bumps and all, just take your scissors, trim that part off. And then I'm going to trim off this side down here, but I'm not gonna use my scissors. I'm gonna use a cutting mat, my straight edge. And this, this is just one, came out of Joanne's in the sewing the quilting section. And it works just great. It was on clearance, so that's always good. Now, you will feel where the box has that um, bend at it, and I'm gonna come right up to it. And then with, I use a little box cutter. You can use a craft knife or whatever. Line that up. Now, it may take you several passes. You don't wanna, I don't put a lot of pressure when I cut. I'd rather do two or three passes because it's safer and it doesn't wiggle and move. So this part we're done with. Now on the sides here, because both of these are straight, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going, see if that's, yeah. I'm gonna leave this just the way it is. So, well on one side, I'm gonna trim one side off. And it doesn't matter if your box is right side up or upside down when you get done. Now I'm gonna hold this where that crease is because I want it to be straight. And as most of you know, I don't do a lot of measuring unless I absolutely have to. All right, that side's out. So what we have is either a front or a back, and we have part of the spine here. So set that aside, and we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. And get rid of the bottom piece. Line that up there. Come in with my craft knife, my box cutter. You can use a craft knife. This box is thin enough I have cut them with my rotary trimmer. I have a precision of, what is it, Fisker's Precision. It was a birthday gift quite a few years ago. Line that side up and we'll take the sand off. Just like that. Now, I want to get rid of one of these end flaps. But before I do that, I want to see how, if I match these, how big is my spine going to be? So it will either be that big, which really isn't much smaller, but, or I can turn it around and do that side. And I think I'm going to do this 
this side be mainly because one I don't have this out here and I'm not too worried about that much space being gone so or do I want the thicker I don't know I'm undecided this morning or do I want it that big remember most of mine come out really thick in the end gator mouse so yeah we'll cut this side off instead I'm what I'm thinking about this one is doing a hidden spine so make sure that's cut off there now these pieces I'm just going to put in my trash can close up my craft knife safety reasons as if not it will I it'll end up falling off of my desk and stabbing me in the foot it has happened now simply want to line these two up and glue them into place just like that so I want to put glue on this side because this is wider than this so I'm going to put this on my short side and find my glue here Yes, I did um, refill my glue bottle. That was a mess this time, let me tell you. It blooped out all over the place. So, set that into place. I don't want that to stick out over the edge. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down on my mat and get it to where that comes right to the edge there. And make sure it's all even. Come on, stay down, stay down, stay down. I can already tell it's going to be one of those days. Now, to hold this into place, all I'm going to do is clip the ends and it's just going to hold it until that glue grabs which doesn't take very long and there is basically our cover see that didn't stick down but that's okay now let me move some of this stuff here out of the way put this back where it goes and then put this back where it goes because if I don't I'll go to look for it and won't be able to find it anywhere so we're at this point right now and I want to reinforce this area here even though I want to make this a hidden spine I still want to reinforce this part and what I use is Tyvek tape now, this is a little on the expensive side, but, I mean, I bought this roll like two years ago, and I still have a ton left. It lasts forever. Well, not forever, but you know what I mean. It lasts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on... And see, when I my tape I put my a paper clip on the end because then I can find the end and it's not where you're peeling up and it, it separates all there so this side down and yes it's longer than what I need put my paper clip back here and then I will trim this part off and as you see it wrapped back around but that's okay now this side here is where most of it is 
where it needs to stick the most. So lay that down that way. Come back here and I'm gonna fold these ends over. Simple as that. Then I'll do another piece here. Doesn't need to be too long because it's right on the inside. Put my paper clip back down there. Turn that piece off. Put that down. Now. Ah! I'm getting stuck together here. And then put that down. Now, yes, I'm over my crease here, but that's okay. I'm going to come in here and put that side and make sure I got both sides. And there. Now all I have to do is cover my cover. And that in itself is really simple. What I use, I have some really old looking paper. This, it's almost like a, like a parchment paper, a thick writing paper. And it's one that my oldest daughter had left when she moved to Colorado. She left it in my garage. So what I want to do is I'm going to come to this back edge. Now, a lot of you don't have the the wide double-sided sticky tape, so don't worry about it. We're going to use regular tape here. If I can get it undone. Now, I'm gonna go from where the crease is all the way down and trim this end off. I know I should have Jack out here doing this, but I put him away. <laughs> and this video is going to be long enough that I don't feel like having to go and fetch him this morning. And we're going to do this to both sides. Do the same along top and bottom. Just like that. Very simple, very easy. And then come in here with my bone folder, burnish that, and I'm gonna go ahead while I'm at it and burnish this down here too. Some people, you know, I know some that say, you know, oh, you, you shouldn't have to burnish your tape all the time, but what it does is it, it, it pushes that adhesive down real good so that it doesn't pull up. At least I've noticed that. It seems to stick better when you burnish it. So. Now, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. I know I had my pokey tool. I put everything away so it's... It's not all where it usually is. Like sitting on the side of my desk or behind my... Yep, even put my trash can away. side down and this side up. Now, do one side at a time. Come in here and go all the way to the edge or as close to the edge as you can get. Put my glue down. 
Now, at this point, I'm gonna fold this back here because I want that straight edge there. And I'm gonna line it up on my paper and simply press it down. Now, I know you're thinking, well, that's a lot of excess paper there, but not really, because we're going to fold this in so that it almost covers this whole area here. Now, what I'm going to do is, at this point, I'm gonna come in sort of notched, but I'm not going all the way to the corner. I'm leaving a bit there. And then I'll do the same from this end, meeting where I cut that. I know some people use um, a little tool to measure out your corners to make sure you get them right, but you know, not all of us have that. Almost to the corner there, and I'm gonna cut almost in the same direction here. Now, I'm going to just fold these up and crease along here, just with my finger, just like that. There's one side. We'll come down here, we'll do this side. And see, I've got a little extra here, not a problem. I'll just come in and a bit. I'm not worried if it's jagged like that. Yeah, it's all going to get covered up. And I did the same down there too. It's not a problem. We can deal with it. We're crafters. We can, we can deal with anything. So, when all is said and done, it's going to look like that, or close enough. So. Usually I come back in with more of my double-sided sticky tape, and all I'm doing is putting it along the edge here, and we'll do this all the way around. You'll see just how easy it is to put your base cover, or your base layer on your cover. And then from here you can decorate it, you can mat it, you can do whatever you want to. But this gets rid of, well, a lot of, sometimes you can see the print from the box through it, but it gets it away enough to where you can cover it and you're not going to have too much of a problem. Do that side, burnish down our edges, now, and do top and bottom first, peel that off, come in here with my glue. We'll glue each of these down. And I like running one bead right along that edge there. And then come in, because we've already creased it, and push that down. Now what that does, the tape there not only holds it till the glue sets, but it keeps the glue from running back that way. We'll do the other end. And then this side. And then finally, along the outside edge, put my bead of glue down and come in and and then fold that over. Just that quick, just that easy. And I can still see some of it here, but when I mat this, or whatever I'm gonna do to the cover, you won't be able to see any of that. And it's just that easy. Very simple, very easy. I'm gonna do the other side right quick. Now I do top and bottom before, oh, I've already put the tape down. Silly me. 
before I cover my spine because I like to extend it just a little bit. That one. Okay, now I've got those two sides. I come in here and we're doing just the same thing we did with that edge. Now as close to the edge as I can. Put my glue down and then take my other sheet of paper and lay this down. Well, I gotta do it down the side. Fold this up so that I've got that edge there and then do it right along the edge. And then we're going to do the same thing to this one. Only right, this time I think I'm going to trim part of this down first. We're doing the same process on this side that we did on the first side. All right. And you'll see it's this is really simple. Once you've done one or two, yeah, you'll see how simple it is to do. How quick and easy. And you can use anything on the cover. You know, this could even be um, decorative cardstock or whatever you want. The only thing I suggest is before you use um, material or lace or anything, I always put this on before that because it just and it seems like it gives it a sturdier base to grab onto and see I just burnish this down with my finger because sometimes we will set our bone folders down on our desk and can't find them so use your finger Finger tools were our first was the first crafting tools invented. Okay. And then simply glue and put down. I was watching I think it was Natasha over at Treasured Books. And she was doing something with tissue papering and a type of watered down glue. And I had done that. I had done that years ago. So I went back to see if I could find that video. And it seems like most of my videos per that's anything over like 14, 15 months ago are gone. I mean, they're just, they're not there. And I've talked to a few other YouTubers, and it's happened to a couple of them. They just, you know, they just disappear. And for that, I must apologize to everyone. Yeah, because I had no idea that it had happened. <clears throat> and I know I had talked about some things I had done in previous videos. And they are not there. They're just, they're gone for whatever reason. And there is, you know, not every 
system is perfect. YouTube is not perfect. So I'm not blaming YouTube for it to happen. But all I'm saying is that if you're looking for those and they're not there, they're just, they've up and disappeared. But, ooh, that's got to be cleaned off. But I look at it as a way to redo them. I just don't know what all is gone. But they will be they will get redone. Because now it gives me more things to share with you. But I am truly sorry to all my subscribers that, that has happened. Now, we're left with our spine here. And to cover this, we simply we're gonna do the same process. You get one more piece of my paper and what I want to do here is I'm going to come a little on each side so I want this to about here set that over there for a moment I don't want to lose where I want to trim this off at uh, move my coffee cup out of the way so I've got room to measure here. Line that up. Make sure everything is straight. And I think I'm going to cut it right here at this line here. So grab out my ruler again. that down and I put away my <clears throat> I got two of them carefully with my hand and then trim yeah I know I didn't trim it straight but you know me, I can't even cut straight with a ruler, as you have seen. So that goes back. After all the cleaning and stuff I have done, I am determined to put things away as I use them. So from here, I am going to put, well, if I can get it. Now I'm going all the way down here. And I'm going to trim, I'm going to put this all the way around. Just like this. Now, when I put this down, I can't actually put anything on top of the Tyvek tape. I'm pretty sure that the Fabri-Tac will stick to it because I think it has before. So I'm going to set this aside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right along this edge here where the paper is and put down a line of tape. Just like that. Now, come in here and burnish that all the way around here because I definitely want this to stick and stay down. So, and this will simply put on the top here, making sure I've got a little bit hanging over each edge. And just center it, you know, as best as we can. So. Well, that's not it. What did I do with... Oh. My tools tend to blend in. My desk has a round top. So, I need to say this blends in. Oh, didn't get down there. 
and just about anything else. If it's black, it blends into my um, mat. Okay, that's off. And I'm gonna move that aside. And I'm gonna come back in here. I'm just gonna take off the ends to begin with because right now that's all I'm concerned with are the sides. Get both of those off, that in the trash, and then come in here with my glue and glue all the way up to that tape. And yes, I'm putting it all in the middle, even though I know that Tyvek is going to be there. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I am pretty sure that the Fabri-Tac does stick to the Tyvek. Now, center that and just press that down. Turn the whole thing over. And now take care of these ends. because we have such a short area here in, in the bottom to deal with, that's another reason why I use the tape. The tape is going to stick. Now, at this point, I'm going to run just a bead along those two edges because I want those to be secure. And pull that over as tight as you can and fold it down and then we'll do the same thing here press it in as tight as you can and fold it down and there take my bone folder and do my creases there and there so that I know that they will stay and I'm barely I'm just bending it a little I don't want that to tear do the crease top and bottom and then easy with your bend if you see it puckering come right back in there and push that into your crease there and there and then slowly bend it that way you don't have that much you don't have a tear here or I have never experienced a tear sometimes in the older papers they do tend to tear but there it is. There it is. It's all done. There is our cover. Now I will come in on the next one, the next video. I'll show you how to do the hidden spine or to get this ready for the hidden spine. And we'll cover the, um, the inside. You can either come in with, a rec with the same paper or you can put a decorative paper over this, but I don't do my side panels until I do my spine. And I do want to reinforce this because I don't want it to bend that much. But there we go. If you have enjoyed what I've shared with you today, you see how easy this is. Yes, it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of practice, but before you know it, You'll be making journal covers out of boxes, out of, they can be done out of chipboard, they can be done out of anything, cardboard, um, cardstock, whatever. And you see how easy it is to cover them. So if you like what I've shared with you today, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell because we have a lot more coming up. So until then, bye guys.